Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a word from the Lord for you, not given to me, but it's in Dawn's newsletter. And believe you me, my spirit testifies that this is from the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. It's It was given to a lady named Judy Reynolds. And I'm not sure if she ever submitted anything to Dawn or not. Like the other lady I shared yesterday. I think that was the lady. Her name Christian Robert. Christian. Oh, that's probably a guy. Okay. I actually remembered his name. How about that? Okay, that's pretty awesome for me, you know. Maybe because his name was Christian. Okay. This is awesome. But it's very, very important. All right. Today is Monday, November the 16th. Okay, November's halfway gone now. And pr how many prophecies have we heard about November? Like, well, there's been several. All right, Down to the Wire is what it's titled. Uh, November 15th, 2020, 10.53 a.m., Judy Reynolds. The word was given to me from Jesus on 11.14, she says. My people, hear the words of my mouth this day. Today, while you still can, seek my face for your lives, your loved ones, I'm sorry, your loved one's lives. Ask me. I will give you wisdom and guidance to make the decisions that shall soon need to be made and those now that need to be made. I guess he means those decisions that now need to that. It's worded a little weird. Sometimes they are. Let me repeat that. I'm sorry. Uh, let me try these. I'm so glad I'm going to the eye doctor. I was crying out to the Lord for to please just let him get me a prescription and get it right. So I can get these other ones returned. Because I want him to look at those and see what kind of prescription I was given it's so blatantly wrong because they want me to have a cataract surgery okay back to this okay my people hear the words of my mouth this day today while you still can seek my face for your lives your loved ones lives ask me I will give you wisdom and guidance to make the decisions that shall soon need to be made and those now that need to be made. I go before you. I need you to follow closely. Do not lag behind. Stay in fasting as I lead you. Fear not, I am with you. Ask me if you need to understand a thing. If you do, I will show you. Do not take the bait of your enemy. Keeping your minds busy on earthly matters that soon shall no longer matter. Possibly he's talking about politics. Be growing and other things that are big fat lies. And now they're saying, oh, it's worse than ever. Well, it may be. Talking about CV, you know. And don't even worry about taking the mark of the beast. Just pray your loved ones will not. That when we come back, we can keep them from it. Pray that, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Be growing in your belief in me. I will lead you. 
ask me to give you, quote, red siren, unquote, about a problem. I call them red flags. He's calling it a red siren about a problem or issue or decision as I know that there is now an overload of information <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> okay I know that there is now an overload of information and of all areas of your lives that need attention. Boy, howdy, that's the truth. Of course, Jesus gives nothing but the truth. I understand the complex complexity of your times in which you live. So ask me, and I will give you an urgent knowing for the priorities of the day. Do not trust the masses now. Pray more for others and be wise in your friendliness with others as the enemy uses flesh for much of his tasks and assignments. Read my word often Declare it often and stay in intimacy with your first love. The firstborn among many brethren. He's talking about himself, brothers and sisters. I know the way, capitalized way, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Remember? I know the way that you take well it could be the person who got this capitalized way but he might have told her to I don't know it says I know the way that you take and you shall come forth as gold hold fast my blessed inheritance pray for the children the fatherless the widows, the homeless, and yes, even the proud. Ask me for a greater anointing and you shall have it. Souls, my children, including your own, tend to souls. We are down to the wire now. Let me repeat that part. Ask me for a greater anointing and you shall have it souls my children including your own tend to souls we are quote down to the wire now exclamation mark unquote I am your redeeming kinsman. Trust and obey my Holy Spirit, which directs you. Darkness comes stronger by the day. Stay in my light. And he signs it, or ended it, however you want to look at it. The crucified one, the Lion of Judah, the Messiah, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No doubt in my spirit that this is from the Lord. We are down to the wire. We are almost out of time. He wants you to pray for souls. It's nice to be healed of something that's hurting you, but we need to pray for souls, okay? If someone is dying, we pray for their soul to make sure they're repenting and make it to heaven. That's the main top of the list of all the prayer needs. Souls. Are they going to heaven? 
Have they made Jesus their Lord and Savior? Are they born again, committed to the Lord, loving Him more than the world? If not, pray the Lord opens their eyes to the times we're living in. We pray for their souls, remembering we, the first fruits, will come back and get to go to these loved ones that we're praying for. And they will listen, most of them. The Lord will instruct us, and he will probably warn us, some will still not believe because they didn't get to go. And they, they'll just have to go through the tribulation to get rid of that pride. And we'll just keep praying for them then. Okay, that's the end of that. Um, okay, I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in Nazareth over this video so it'll go up. And over each and every one of us and all of our devices and our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.